Oh no, I've spent so much time catching up on Thanksgiving that I haven't had a chance to Christmas shop yet. I guess this will have to do, but I should make a few changes. Perfect. I'm glad we could get together and exchange gifts. I think you'll really like yours. Oh, some bread. You shouldn't have. Open yours. It's just what I wanted. Cooking Mama. Hey everyone, it's Game Tim with a special holiday themed episode of Cooking with Cooking Mama, a series where I recreate recipes from your favorite cooking games. It's been a long time coming, but I'm finally doing what a ton of viewers have suggested in trying out Cooking Mama Let's Cook, the 2015 mobile game. I'm not just trying any recipe from this new generation of cooking game though. Since Christmas is just around the corner, I wanted to pick out an appropriately festive but kind of weird dish. So today I'll be making mashed potato trees. This recipe looks nuts, but I won't try to spoil too much. Just know that it involves decorating a mound of mashed potatoes. A search for mashed potato trees online gave me only a handful of relevant results, so I can say with some confidence that this probably isn't a thing many people do over the holidays. Mama's recipe seems to resemble unfinished duchess potatoes, mashed potatoes that are piped out and then baked. It's rare we see something so original from these games, and I'm pretty excited to see how they translate in a real kitchen. The ingredients for today's recipe, potatoes, milk, salt, pepper, and for garnish, a red bell pepper, a yellow bell pepper, a yam, broccoli, and holly leaves. I am pretty excited to do something special and kind of odd for the holly days. The number of options for festive treats weren't exactly overwhelming, but I think a corny little potato tree will be poplar. It might ring a bell when I say I'm rooting for good results with this more recent game. I usually have high hopes when I jump into something new. Before you think, how dare he make so many bad puns, let's make mashed potato trees from Cooking Mama Let's Cook.
Boom Bay Baba Mama! Thanks for watching, and happy holidays! I think this is the most absurd thing that I've ever done for the channel, but I'll have to admit that sculpting, piping, and decorating a mashed potato tree was a ton of fun, in-game and out. As always, I'm a little concerned about Cooking Mama's four-ingredient recipe, but before I pass judgment, let me try a bite. Yeah, they're a little bland, but with these looks, I'm gonna give it a pass. The peppers were a really cool garnish idea. The raw sweet potato? A little confusing. Overall, I even think this could be a cool personal tradition going forward. I mean, just the look of my roommate seeing me decorate a mashed potato mound was priceless enough. My takeaways from constructing this festive potato tree? Not adding butter seemed a little odd, but I'm glad Mama remembered the salt and pepper this time around, even though she needed some help identifying them. Don't underestimate how fine potatoes have to be mashed in order to pipe them. Sure, my icing tip could have been a little too small, and that's probably why the initial trees were so tiny, but I feel like using extra tools off camera like a food processor is a good way to get an extra smooth potato flow. And it's a little strange that the game seemingly included a single inedible garnish with the holly leaves, especially after going through all the effort to cut vegetable stars and arrange broccoli. Thanks again for watching, and happy holidays! I hope everyone has a great rest of the year and I look forward to sharing more culinary misadventures in 2018. Don't forget to comment any future recipe or game recommendations in the comments, and subscribe to see the latest episodes. See ya!